all on you. From inside Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. The pitch. Ripped on a line. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Here's Mike Trout. Yeah, the first offering is not close. And another ball. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And there's the strike. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy, that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. In there, and it's 0-1. One. one of the unfortunate things is that in this guy's career, particularly early, we just didn't get to see him in the postseason very much. You want to see the best players playing in October. Righty to the plate. And fouled off. Next offering way off the plate. The one two on the ground to third Wendell gloves it sends it across the first and now two gone good arm side run to that same side hitter right there very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it just bores in on the hands Jared Walsh takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Nope. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone, and the count is 2-2. Two two. And he chases that one. And that is that. We go to the bottom of the first. And at the play for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. Here comes a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the righty deals. Out in front and foul to the left side.
And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. That one, one misses in the dirt. One down, base is empty. I got to count two and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Kicks and deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put them away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Two on, one out. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. Garcia. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The next offering misses. 1 and 1. Right hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. 1 and 2. And here it comes. And now it's even up. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And a swing and a miss. Two out. So first and second with two outs. Jorge Soler, the next up for the Marlins. Next offering is down low. One and oh. Two on, two outs. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. I like the sequence right here. Jammed him on that last pitch, then trying to go away. You get that hitter leaning out over the plate a little bit. Got him! Out number three. Top of the second, Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. The third base, number six. The wind and the pitch. And that's down it away. The wind of the pitch. That's in there, and a count one and one. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. One and two. The pitch. Slider misses outside. Now a check swing, but he held up. High in the air, out to right. Garcia should have this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Joe Adele. That is good. The left hand, number seven. Joe Adele. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. That's to third. Slings it across. That's out number three. Back here in Miami, bottom half of inning number two, and now the center fielder, Jesus Sanchez. And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. 0 oh and 2 as he waves at that one.
Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Stassi gathers, throws the first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Jacob Stallings now. Foul ball. And the 0 1. Good eye right there. And he deals. Next offering misses down and away. Next one is off the play. Now three and one. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. The 2 1. Swing and a pop up. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Lewin Diaz. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. The 0 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Next offering upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Back here at Lone Depot Park, on to the third inning. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Alcantara back to work. Ball one there. The pitch. Ball that time. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The wind to kick the 2 0. Popped up right side. Diaz under this one. He's got it. One up, one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. David Fletcher watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Next pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. Two two now. The punch out there. Two down. Now it's the Angels leadoff man, Luis Rangifo. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Next offering upstairs. Top of the third, no score. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back. Jazz Chisholm now. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Next is the designated hitter, Garrett Cooper. First offering, and it just misses. There's the swing and a miss. Next offering down low and in the dirt. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. He feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff than stay with it. Can't get there. Base hit. Runner at first with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Abasail Garcia. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. That's inside. That misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. And the right hater deals. And ball four to a board. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Jorge Soler up at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Two outs. And there's a hit. Coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. But it's offline. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. At the play, Jesus Sanchez. All one's the count. Left hand hitter waits. And strike two. Garcia on second. Soler at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a bouncer. They take the force out. That's the third out. Inning over.
start of the fourth. Now the number two hitter, Mike Trout. And the right hitter back to work. And takes low for ball one. The pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering is down low. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And the count's even at two. The wide to kick the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. So up next, Taylor Ward. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. 2 0. And that one missing low. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Walsh in the box now. Take strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And a foul ball with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Right through there. Got him. Two away down. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. First pitch, not close. And the righty deals. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right hander kicks deals. And that just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. 2 2 now. Stays alive. Next pitch misses. Three and two now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. And next for L.A., Joe Adele. Joe Adele. Two outs, two in scoring position. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Bottom of the fourth. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And the 1-0 misses low. The wind of the pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. The 
the wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Late swing fouled off. The 2 2. That one down the line, and he takes it himself for the out. Here's the third baseman, Joey Wendell. First time up was a pop out. That one's in there, 0 1. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 0 1 down. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swings and misses. That's the second out. And here's the first baseman, Lewin Diaz. He swings and fouls one off. Bowling one now. And that one got a piece of him. I don't care what some players might say. Nobody likes getting hit by a pitch unless you're in an 0-2 count and there's a knuckleballer out there on the mound. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Jazz Chisholm. First offering misses the mark. Diaz leads off first with two down to the inning. The next pitch misses. And now 2 and 0. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 and 0. Oh. The 2 0 oh is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the designated hitter for the Angels, Matt Theis. And here it comes. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. 0-2 now. Up the middle. That's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's the catcher to hit. Max Stassi. Now a screamer into the outfield. Soler makes the grab. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Fletcher in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The pitch. This one smacked out to left center. Sanchez racing over to make the catch. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Rolled over to third. On to Chisholm, and that will end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The pitch. That one fouled off. Here's the 1. Slowly on the ground to short. Fletcher picks it up on the run. Throw to first. One up, one down. And here is Garrett Cooper. Garrett. 
first pitch outside, just misses. That one missed. Next offering upstairs. The wind and the pitch. And a four-pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Runner on at first with one gone. Next to hit, Abasayil Garcia. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. Hammered on a line to the left. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Digging in, Jorge Soler. In there for strike one. And a pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Going two now. Got him looking. Two gone. So first and second with two outs. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. And that's in for a strike. Cooper, the lead runner out at second. Garcia on at first with two down. Right side. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third. So it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Two outs. Bases full. And now Jacob Stallings. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next one misses. Ball one. And a strike in there. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Base hit, one run is in. Another comes in to score, and they lead by three. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. On the mound now, Jaime Berea. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. So two on with two away. Here's Joey Wendell. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, two outs. On the ground, right side. Rangifo collects it. They get the force, and that is the inning. here at Lone Depot Park and now batting Mike Trout the pitch well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot Next pitch is inside, and a count two and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two-two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Comes a two-two. Good eye right there. Now on this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Ooh. 
Ward in the box now. No balls and a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Next one just misses. Now two and two. Alcantara over to first, and he's back in there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Cut on and miss, struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Alcantara over to first, and diving back is Trout. Walsh up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Move to first. And he dives back in safely. The next offering misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat and yeah, the right hander deals on the corner for a strike now two balls and a strike in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one 2-0 change up call right there excellent pitch selection to go with left hand hitter waits Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Got him. Two down. Now it's Anthony Rendon. In there, and it's Owen Wad. Trout off of first with two away. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. That's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. All over that one right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. That one the other way. Chisholm tosses the first, and that is that. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Lewin Diaz. The first baseman, And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. That's a ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Next. Next to hit, Jazz Chisholm. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ah. 
That's in there. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. And that one fouled off. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Fletcher has a beat on it and makes the grab. That's out number two. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Miguel Rojas stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1-0. And that one fouled off. Right side. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Back here in Miami, now it's the DH, Matt Theis. Leading off of the Angels. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty to the plate. Oh, that's cool. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough to sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Stassi now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That hits the dirt. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. The pitch. And it's even up. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now it's filled up. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Here's David Fletcher. First offering misses the mark. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. They're down to their final strike. And it's filled up. Just one strike away. Little chopper rolls foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that one handled. Throw to first is in time, and that'll do it. The Marlins get a shutout on the mound. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three-nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Man, I was a dropout.